Hey, it's Dino here in Studio 95 with Justin Haig. How you doing, Dan? Glad to have you come by today. It's good to be here. I hear you were over at the ocean, you know, yeah, we were outer banks, banks and everything. Yeah, you yeah. That's now, is it, did you see any of the damage there from the hurricanes? A few, Not you know, too bad, actually. They've really? got it cleaned up pretty good. they got it cleaned up pretty yeah. good. Yeah. All right. Probably from where you came from. Well, I guess you were in Texas for a while. There'd be some hurricanes down there, but sure. you, you grew up in South Dakota, right? Absolutely. No hurricanes there. No hurricanes there. It's a rarity. But you were on a ranch, right? Yeah, my you folks' grew up ranch. On a ranch. Yeah, my folks' ranch up there. Uh, my dad's retired, but mm -hmm. uh, my mom and my younger brother they they still ranch. You ever miss any of that? Yeah, every day. <laughs> <laughs> You're like me. No. <laughs> So how do you, so how do you end up from South Dakota and you go to the Air Force and you end up in Texas, right? Well, there's a few stops in between. I uh, I went to Alaska and, and did some commercial fishing for a while, and uh, came back and I drove truck for a while, mm -hmm. did a little mechanic work and, and things like that. And all through that whole time, I'm singing on the side, playing in bars, doing whatever. And uh, eventually, I met a guy that was opening a studio. And uh, he was a producer, kind of. <laughs> and uh, we cut a record, and, and he kind of used that as a demo to uh, introduce me to my current producer. And uh, we went down to Nashville and cut a few songs. Did you know during that whole time this is what you wanted to do, and you oh, just yeah. had to find the way? Or? Yeah, yeah. It's it's just uh, you know it's like every overnight success takes what a decade. Yeah. Um, I, I was working on it, but it's just a long drawn out thing. You can't. Uh, you can't just like walk in and hey, well, let's just go do a record. And, mm -hmm. it, it's uh, well, I, I wouldn't say that. Some people. Well, do. you can. Yeah. Well, you yeah. Can, yeah <laughs> I, okay. All right. Here. Do right. you th do you think in the end that you'll be happier and that, that it helps you more to have those experiences and absolutely and be able to come through all that? Yeah, absolutely. It uh, you know there's a, a difference again between the ones that that kind of don't do that mm -hmm. and the ones that work their way up through the clubs and. And stuff you know, guys like Brooks and Dunn. You know, I've, I've oh, watched yeah. interviews with with Kicks and Ronnie, and and uh, they, they came spent, up the hard way. Yeah, they spent years and years course. and years. Yeah. yeah, had to make a big choice of whether they wanted to be the big fish in the small pond or try and swim their way up to the big pond. You know, and and uh, it works out oh, sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> I was just talking to somebody this weekend. I said, you know, Toby Keith when he signed his record deal took a pay cut. Sure. Toby Keith was playing all over Oklahoma and Texas and sure. doing real well. Yep, absolutely. How how is the Texas music scene different than South Dakota or some of the other places you've been? Uh, there's a lot more of it, but the competition is stiff too because uh, you know there's like I, I tell people there's like a hundred thousand bands trying to fit into ten thousand venues. You know, it, well, nowhere else in the country you're going to find the amount of venues that there are mm -hmm. to play in Texas, but you're not going to find as many bands either. It okay. it kind of it kind of equals out, but uh, you know cream rises to the top and then you end up with guys like Cody Canada and Stoney LaRue and and uh, Jason Boland, Kevin Fowler, you know, it, yeah. uh, you, you have a lot of good talent comes out of there. So. Is there. Are there connections you need to make, people you need to know as well to say, all right, we can get you in here and that'll open up another door and that'll open up another door? Basically, the only thing there is to a connection in this business that I've found so far is, look, you just go play your show. If you do a good job, somebody's going to walk up and go, hey, you know, I know somebody, you want to go play this club over here, uh -huh. and the door opens, you go play that one, and then you, that opens another door. You just have to do a good job, that's all there is to it. You can't uh, you can't just like fake your way and go, hey, you know, I'd really like to do this, you know, yeah. I'd like to be playing Billy Bob's. Yeah. Wouldn't we all? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, <it's, laughs> exactly. So, so yeah. great. Well, Justin's going to sing a song for us here in just a minute. Justin, hey, came by. Good to meet you, my friend. Me too.